Today I'm gonna to give you two hacks on how to keep warm or cook while you're out in the wilderness. Swedish torch and a rocket stove, all in one episode. Swedish torch. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and find a log and we're gonna go ahead and split it and then uh, we're going to uh, put it back together and light it up. So that's the first one I'm gonna teach you how to make. And then the second one is using an auger. We're gonna go ahead and make a rocket uh, stove but in a log using the auger. So today I'll be working with my K-Bar, K BK9 knife. This is a beast. With this knife, uh, you can do a lot of batoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my knife and with this log, I'm gonna go ahead and just look at the crack that's already developing there. And I'm gonna go, put, go ahead and baton this. Just like that. Split it into two. I'm gonna go ahead and split each of these into two again. Wow. And that's it. Next thing that you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and take down some of the material in, uh, in these quarters. And so I'm just gonna use my K-Bar BK9 and take some of the chunks off. All right, so once you have shaven down your four uh, pieces of wood, you're gonna go ahead and put them together. And as you see right there, because you took out a chunk in the middle, uh, you've got that little groove, which is gonna help us uh, make a fire as we put this together. So I'm gonna go ahead and also take out a chunk on the side. All right, so now we have a hole on the top and on the middle, we have another hole where the air can come in. So you just wanna get some type of electrical wire, get a pair of pliers and just make sure that that's nice and tight. Let's go ahead and light this baby up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some fat wood, some pitch, pitch wood, and I'm gonna cut some of that and stick that down into my, um, my Swedish torch. You go ahead and you light it up. You let that uh, air do its thing. There again is a little window so I can get the oxygen. Make sure uh, you like, subscribe, and if you like this content, let me know with a comment. Or if you've made a Swedish torch, let me know how it's gone. For our second stove, um, I want to go ahead and show you how you can make a rocket stove out of a log. But you are going to need an auger. I got mine auger at Pine and Deer. I'll have the description in my link below if you want to go ahead and get one of these. But this, this system is awesome. You get a, your auger um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to drill two holes, one from the top into the log and then one from the side so it can get that oxygen just like the uh, the Swedish torch but this one we're going to be using this auger to make our torch so I went and I just got um, a half inch I'm sorry an inch uh, dowel at one of the hardware stores just to make it a lot easier to drill through so you just go ahead you go ahead and put your auger in the middle of your log go ahead put the dowel through it and just start to twist. It's gonna take some time, but it's gonna eat through this log pretty quick. All right, so this auger is 10 inches long. And as you can see, I got it all the way in. Um, so now I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna drill a hole on the side so it has the oxygen to be able to uh, breathe and consume the log. All right, so now you can see I've got a side hole right here and my hole on the top. 
And so there's only one thing left to do, and that's light this baby up. All right, so you can see it's starting to take. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Well, there you have the rocket, the rocket stove. Um, I'm not sure which one you like better, but it's good to know both of them so you can use them in an emergency situation. All right, this has been Papa's Place. I hope you guys learned something today and um, go ahead and tell me which fire you prefer to make in the comments below. Till next time, God bless. <laughs>